Hello and welcome to TR's Guitar of the Day, episode 15, I hope, I think. And we got another nice guitar for you. I remember a few episodes back, me giving you the spiel about Kramer owned by Gibson, Music Yo, sending out guitars to be tested, turned into whatever. And my theory on it was they were like market testing things that would turn into Epiphone products, later on Kramer, and um, Tobias, whatever, that, that they ended up selling through mainstream market, but Music Yo was direct online. Well, this is one of those. And what they did when they were through doing what they were doing, they wanted to get rid of the things. This guitar was a $650 guitar that I got for $350 because they wanted to get rid of it. I am fully, fully, fully believing there was an evolution process. It moved on past this. This was on the way working towards the Epiphone Prophecy series. Um, there was a series that came out right before Music Yo went away that was so much looked like the Prophecy. It's not funny. But this one, experimented with this headstock. I'm not sure why, but it's good because it's got a very straight string pull. It has Godot Magnum Lock tuners that came on it. The finish is a nice, um, there's some flame in there. Nice lemon drop, but the unique thing about this is um, some of these came with. Um, I'm trying to remember what they called them. Pickups that were out of. Um, I don't remember now. But this particular one I have didn't come with those pickups. It has a pair of Duncan's. Uh, this is a Pearly Gates, and this is a JB. So, there again for my non-guitar oriented friends. These pickups are $100 a piece. These tuners are $100. I paid $350 for this guitar. Do the math on that. Yeah, I got a good deal. It's made in Korea. Uh, I spoke the last episode to the hierarchy of quality guitars. Um, USA top, Japan second, eh, Mexico, Korea, I don't know. You have to put your vote in. People that would argue that one. So, anyways, they make very, very good guitars. And this is a very good guitar. Would have been worth every bit of the $650 that originally had for price tag. Oxidation in the switch, there's stuff you could spray in there, or you could just work them back and forth like this. And they work fine. Cool thing about this is it has a uh, you pull this out and it cuts these to single coil pickups. For the non guitar friends, you notice it sounds brighter. I don't use it because I like my guitars hot and loud. The challenge with doing all these videos, because I have so many guitars, is, well part of the challenge is I should be cleaning them up better. I'll wipe this off quick and I apologize. Um, I should be making them look prettier. Look at the mahogany on that. I could try and figure out how many piece it is, but you know, if you have to struggle to figure out how many piece it is, it tells you they did a really, really good job on matching the pieces up. Because it would be rare to find one that was one piece. That would be very rare. But anyways, as you can tell, I'm, I'm, I'm fond of this thing. Um, one of the challenges too is, with doing this, is what do I play? I, I don't want to keep playing the same things over and over again. So I'm trying to think of something different every time I play, and it's like, you know, Sometimes I plan ahead, oh, I'm going to play this, and other times it's like, okay, just whatever comes to mind, and, eh, you know, it could be good, it could be bad. Um, I'm a big Blue Oyster Cult fan, I don't want to beat you over the head with it, but, you know, I like play it like most of their catalog. 
there are other bands that I can play most of their catalog too. But anyway, so it, it's the stuff that just comes out. Hard to palm me wearing a hoodie sometimes because I sleep it's down there. <laughs> Dense version and like jump through the parts of the song. <laughs> guitar friends it's the guitar part of just looking at these things is what the entertainment is and that's what my entertainment is a lot of too besides playing them is they're just beautiful and I love them and uh, oh before we finish this up let's try and figure out when the heck this was made oh one could I have bought this in 2001 I believe I may have let's do some quick math uh, I bought this back when my son was in high school before he started playing bass, and oh, by the way, that's a whole other thing we could get into. He's an amazing bass player. Uh, he's born seven, so ninety-seven. He would have been ten. Two thousand, he would have been thirteen. Two thousand one, he would have been fourteen. I've got an O one. That's what this is. This is a two thousand one. There's an S in here. What the S tells me is Samic Factory in Korea which Samic Factory now is Indonesia, and we're going to show you some of those guitars later on. And I'm dragging this out and probably being real boring to the casual people or anybody else, but I'm sorry. <laughs> 